Welcome, it's nice to see all of you guys. My name is Rick McGonigal. I know I haven't met most of you guys, but uh, maybe I've seen you around. No, I don't actually, maybe just you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I figured we'd let people get settled in a little bit and eat a little more food. And uh, today we're just gonna be looking at music and, and spending time with some music and letting people perform and give of their heart. And um, so it's a little, little more maybe laid back or just a little more fluid, if it's a good word. Not genderly, though. <laughs> but music is great. That's what's nice about music is that we all do get to, you know, all of us get to participate and all of it have us in our lives, you know? And um, I studied English in school and that was always like a fun thing because everybody thinks they're a writer you know, because everybody can write, but everybody sort of thinks they're a singer in a way, because everybody can make noise, you know, with their voice, and that's true, and it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to use our body as an instrument, and uh, even just talking and not singing, I mean, how, how big of a deal, how much importance is there conveyed through talking, like tons, right, how, how it connects us, too, to each other. And um, sound and silence are just two giantly powerful things. Um, and there's not a lot of, there's a ton of word, or there's a ton of music in the word. And uh, I went looking in there, which was funny, because I'd never really done that before. I'd never been like, oh, I'm going to do a giant research on music in the word. And um, I was surprised to find how sort of one-sided it is and, and, and how uh, there isn't, there is music obviously but we can't sing it. We don't know what the psalm sounded like. That would be super cool to find a digital recording. Somebody like David's iPod. That would be really nice. Um, but I thought we'd sing some um, songs all together. We were going to play I Saw Light and if you guys want to join in with us you uh, please do. Father, how thankful we are for your word. Thank you, Father, for how we can come together and grow in our understanding of why we sing, 
praises to you and why music is so important. Thank you, Father, for Rick and Rachel and David and Mitch and how they are pouring out their hearts in music so that we can receive. And thank you, Father, for just how you work mightily in each one of us to willing to do of your good pleasure. Thank you, Father, for a great night tonight around your word and music. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. So I've been studying music um, my whole life. My mother is very musical, and um, my, my stepfather is in the theatrics. He's not too musical. His favorite line is, uh, he can play the radio. <laughs> uh, but uh, like I said before, we're all super connected to music and how music is all around us all the time. And nowadays you can't even get away from music because they pump it into the parks, you know, even or like water around the sidewalk. I live in Winter Garden, Florida, and um, they literally have r music coming out of like when you're just walking down the sidewalks, you know, they have the Disney rocks that pump out the music, you know, so it's always there. Um, and there's different ways in the word that, the, that music is used. Almost all the time, it's a celebration, and it's a praise giving, and it's like from the soul, it's from the heart. And that's why I was saying earlier that we all have the ability to make sound. We all have this, the, the vocal cords, or just anything, and rhythm, we can connect to it that is really um, that's really one of the things that we see all the time and in Psalm 155 150 I'm just gonna read it real quick here praise you the Lord praise God in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power praise him with his mighty works praise him according for his excellent greatness praise him with the sound of the trumpet and with the psaltery and the harp Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, Yahweh, Jehovah. So everything that has breath, I mean, that is just, and that's how we get to make the sound, too. Um, the other way that we use in word, at least, and, in, and not so much nowadays, but um, in old times, they used music and poetry, but music, then they sang the poetry, which turns into a song then, right? For history, too. And um, we see that with uh, Moses a lot of the times. They sang a lot of, the, like, not the psalms that Moses wrote, of course not, but in um, Exodus 15 is actually a history of them going out of Egypt, of the Exodus, of like, um, I think the first verse is like, he, he praised God because he saved us, praised God because he threw the chariots into the sea. Like, that is, you know, that would be a heck of a thing to hear on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, actually, if you guys want to do Five Flat Rocks, um, now-ish, sure. then, uh, because that's a history too. It's, a, it's not a history, but it's a story of, we didn't write this song, um, but it's a, it's a story of David and Goliath. You don't have to get up. Okay. Yeah, come on up. And uh, it's a history of David and Goliath. And in Exodus 15, I'm just going to read it really, real quick. Other things do this too. We see it's Psalm 78 is a. Um, Psalm 78 is a history of Israel, and all the psalms were songs, right? So this is super long, but give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable, and I will utter dark sayings of old. And then they go into the whole story of, again, being taken out of Egypt and being taken into the promised land after all that time. So this is a song uh, called Five Flat Rocks, and it's about David's conquering over Goliath. Israel rebelled in peril back in David's time Cause Goliath was the champion of the Philistine Israel was 
shaking, drinking my fear, but God called the champion those young in years. Five flat pounds from a riverbed, it only took one in the dying day. Rocks from a river bed. He only took one at the time he did. David had faith, cause he didn't know the lion and the bear would take him home. So he knew he Take the giant down, ten foot tall, will you smash on the ground? Five flat rocks from a river bed, they only took one in the giant we did. Wait through. 
through my darkness When all else in me feels hopeless You are my comforter And I fall down on my knees to worship Searching for your voice in my ear Spirit revealed to me One on one I call for my creator A heart in complete surrender Hold me in your arms forever Speak to me Conversations with my Father Nothing else do I desire One on one A flame on my lips, a heart beating to your rhythm. You are my conductor, and I leave everything at your feet, Lord, because I need to know.
I just forgot that I wasn't set up for it. No, so now I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was really welcome. No, thank you. All right, All right um, this one is not one that I wrote, uh, but somebody did. <laughs> and it's called No Longer Slaves.
child of God. No, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. There's like an amazing, obviously, healing power with song and with music and with that connection. And um, King David, the psalmist, he, um, in 2 Samuel 16, or 1 Samuel 16, probably, um, and we see him play for um, King Saul before he is... Before David was king, he played, he worked for and was the second in command and led the armies for King Saul and here. But Saul, the spirit of the Lord, departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God, in the Old Testament, troubleth thee. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before you, to seek out a man who is cunning player on a harp. And it shall come to pass, when the evil spirit from God is upon you, that he will play with his hand, and you shall be well. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Behold, I have seen a son, one of his servants said, I have seen a son of Jesse, a Bethlehemite, who is cunning and playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse, and said, Send me David thy son, who is with the sheep. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and sent them by David his son unto Saul. And David came to Saul, and stood before him, and he loved him greatly. And he became his armor bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray you, stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took a harp and he played it with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. So there's tons of power there. And there's a connection that happens on an individual level. And um, it's quite awesome. It's quite powerful. Does, Does anybody have anything like... You know, you guys want to say about music or a uh, a time that it's really hit you like that? Good. I don't know. I just wondered if there was because it is. There's so many moments all it's the time. It's always very refreshing yeah. to hear something that has heart behind it, where you you hear the heart in the word. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's why we titled this "The Word in Music." Because anytime the word is manifested outwardly, there's always going to be healing. Mm-hmm. And same thing with the music that's played in the songs. Absolutely. It's always tenderized my heart to receive, mm-hmm. to receive whatever God needed me to receive for my deliverance. And um, so music has always been a really big part of my life. Um, but even more so now, you know, with the word being the a- absolute stability of my life. So without it, I don't know. Yeah. If life just wouldn't be no, the same. It it it's be hard the to same. think about life without music. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, we listen to music in our house every single day. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it's a part of our thing, and I think people that jump in the car with us or come over, like, know, like, oh, you're yeah, going to hang out with Lauren and Brianna. <laughs> There's going to be some yeah. kind of music, and I personally like didn't really care for Christian music mm-hmm. until probably moving here a year ago, and then like it came and I heard Mitch sing and I was like, oh. "It's not all bad." Oh my God. <laughs> 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 you know, because like I had been to like a few concerts with like friends and stuff, and I was like, I just can't like I hear the word and I can't connect. But it's totally different when like people are singing it and they're just mm-hmm. presenting it, and then when you hear somebody that like it's in here you know what I mean so like for me that 
that changed like Christian music. I've told Mitch this before, and then I was like, well, I'm going to start listening, and it was about finding the type of Christian music mm-hmm. that I enjoyed, and I realized that I like the same kind of stuff that Mitch would sing, so I started like really searching, and I found a song that I actually... Brianna probably is like so immune to it now. But like every morning I, I wake up, I have like a routine, and I listen to one very particular song because for me it um, just embodies thankfulness. Mm. So every morning as I get ready and I brush my teeth and before I do anything else, it's this one song I listen to and it has the same effect on me every time I hear it, no matter how many times I hear it or what time of day. It just for me it's that one song that I'm like. I can do it's very simple, mm-hmm. doesn't say a lot of words, but it's Which one is that one? It's the Bethel Music Mercy. I I love it. Nice. And there's one that Mitch nice. sings that like every time I'm like, Don't play it today. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Ah, <laughs> 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 the day he sings it. Um <laughs> 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 oh, what is it? Um something about Move the Mountain. Yeah, no, no. Um, endless love, reckless love, reckless, reckless love. love. That's the one. Reckless love. Okay. You like you have to play it today now, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the heartstrings song. The heartstrings. <laughs> Playing the heartstrings. So which is that reckless love, and what's the other one? Um, the one I listen to every day is called Mercy by Bethel Music. I think Amanda Cook yeah. sings it. Yeah, I think that. No, he she doesn't. But if he would learn the guitar part for me, then <laughs> I can do it right now. Just say, <laughs> just say learn it. She, 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 she just threw you. <laughs> Put you on the spot. So that I can do it right now. He's like, I'll learn it right now for so you. Do it right now, but I mean, there's like a totally d- it, the version that like is recorded is yeah. totally different. And then this one, where I played it for Aaron the other night. Yeah, it's great. It's she just did a cover of it because mm-hmm. I was looking for it acoustically because no one's done it acoustically. Mm-hmm. But this girl did it and I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And Rico tried to learn it for me, but like it yeah. was a disaster. <laughs> 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 I was like, thanks Rico, you're amazing. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> so uh, for music, for me, um, God put me on this planet to play music for God's people. Uh, That is my ministry. That's what um, I've been doing for a long time. I am an okay teacher for the word. I'm an okay witness, go knock on doors, talk to people about God. But my ministry is playing music, reaching people through music. And I think it's been some quite some time that Rick and I and a couple of other friends of ours talk about doing a music project. And God gave me the vision that that's what we're gonna do. And when he gave me that vision, I was halfway across the country working in no man's land. Um, God told me we're gonna do this. So it just so happened that we played our first show together back in February while I still lived 1,500 miles away. And I was like, well, how is this gonna work? (laughs) And after we played that first show, um, Rachel and I, my wife, (laughs) <laughs> started seeing things fall in line to come here and start this music project. One thing after another came, and then the job offer came, and it was two and a half months after that first show. So in February, I'm in a job career type situation up in Ohio, and next thing we know, in March, I have a job offer, and we're on our way to Florida. <laughs> and we didn't have a place to live here, and the housing market is crazy. And it was enough money to where Rachel could stay home and just be a mom. And it was just the perfect job for me. Everything had fallen in line. And Rick and Advance, myself, his wife, and Rachel and I started this music project. And we started recording our first live type album yesterday. And we've got songs together. We're, we got shows booked. We got things coming. And it's just an amazing thing what God can do. Gives me a vision, says this is gonna be I didn't make the decision, God told me. So that's that's what we're doing. I'm really excited about this this thing that we're gonna be this ministry we're gonna have for God. It's all about music. And we're gonna bring some music to Christians that is not the worshipy type thing. It's gonna be different than what anybody's ever heard. 
and we're really excited about it. So we got some songs to share for you today mm -hmm. as well. <coughs> this one's called Walk in Love. I'm feeling just, just a nice way to like set me up there. This is gonna be something you've never heard of before your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Different. Never changing 
of Psalms. Um, David wrote, uh, this is in the Bible, so kind of technically yeah, David wrote this song. Yeah. I think this is Psalm 136. It's not all the words, but it's 14 and 136. Yeah. Yeah. And by the rivers of Remember Zion. 
rivers of Babylon Where we sat down And there we went When we remembered Zion Oh, cause the wicked carried us away in captivity Required from us a song How can we sing in a song in a strange land So that the words of our mouths And the meditations of our hearts Be acceptable in thy sight
kick them coming after me There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down coming after me There's no shadow you won't light We're a Bible study. Rick and I have talked about this a lot. And the heart is we're not a nonprofit organization, even though we are a nonprofit organization. We don't collect tithings or offerings, but we want to do a concert. And on a, very and big on, a, on a larger venue. And in order to do that, it requires money to pull it off. And to rent the facility, we want to have food, we want to be able to really bless people uh, with this thing and uh, we've got some places in mind that we want to do this and not have a limitation on what God can do and not have a limitation on how many people can come. You know, in our, ho in our house it's great, but we're limited to about 25 people. So we want to do a larger venue and you know, the word says, as a man purposeth in his heart, so let him give. This could be an opportunity, but we don't collect money for the Bible study, per se. It would go towards this event specifically. To give a little bit further details, we're trying to work something up to where, you know, once the facility's paid for, that's it. We would stop collecting money for that. 
so that it specifically goes for this venue only. Yeah, yeah for this event. Just because there's, you know, blah, 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 about once there's a, an entity and it becomes its own thing. So to sort of avoid that politic, um, we have decided to just make it for the events. So whatever it is, and that's what it is. And then if, it's le if there's leftover, then we'll divide it up and give it back, or we'll decide how to give it. You use know, it for the next use venue. It for the, maybe the next meeting, but so that there isn't something that, like a purse that begins. Um, because this is how it's, how it is in our hearts. I'm not saying organizations are bad by any means. I'm not saying don't give to people who save money. Absolutely not. I'm just saying for what we have been working in our hearts, that's how it seems that we want it, that God wants us to do it that way. So that everybody can know what it's going for and then you know you're giving to that and, and that's what it is. And that's what that's what I want it to be, to be honest with you. I want to know that, that, that what we're talking about is what what we're talking about and um, if you're into that then you're into that and and then it's not a hey you have to join our fellowship you have to join our our meetings our ministry it's come to one of them you know all partakers we're all in the body and um and not that if you don't give you can't come right? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, not there. I'm not giving money it's not about that at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's definitely not about that no, i almost didn't even bring this up now but it's I know it's our heart to give and just to make this available because we know that we're supposed to do it and we don't we don't want anything in return we just want to give yeah the, well the meetings and, and, and when um, so for plan for people you know like David said it earlier that this is how his ministry how his giving is you know and mine too, and Mitch's as well, and Rachel's, I'm sure, a little bit. <laughs> so, but like, you know, we, we do put it into the, the practice time and just, and the giving of it and how there should be an opening of our souls in a sense, you know, like Mitch is great at that, obviously, right? And he really shines in that, in that way that there's an openness and a bearing of oneself. Um, and it's beautiful. So we just, I know that that's a, it's a need for performers in the state, um, that getting together and playing is like healing, you know, just like for David, well for Saul, I suppose, not for David. David was like, I don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do just a like few songs here and then, um, and then that's about it for this evening. But um, yeah, this one's called Walk in Love. I wrote this song um, a little while ago, and it's been a while now, and um, I don't have much to say about it, but um, I'm very thankful for you all coming and for everybody having a heart to listen and a heart to share and um, a heart to give. So, um, yeah. Well, God's love. God's love. What did I say? Walk in love. God's, love. God's love, everybody. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> Life and all its fullness is a gift from God. We're justified, risen with Christ, and righteous in His eyes. Too often we forget our grace and let our sin. Set your affections on God's love And then we ask each other How can I help you with God's love Thoughts and fears can cloud our minds This life gets hard But who of us by day Christ accomplished, we 
are believing God's Lord. All men shall know him by it. Yeah. 
want to carry you till that day when I see you
just a lie, yeah, just a lie. The adversary subtle man, he don't sleep while you're sleeping, he does it while you're watching TV. Christ from the dead is dwelling in you. Literally, that power that took him out of the grave is dwelling in you, even this guy. And love starts it all. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you to everybody. Thank you to Mitch for playing so much, man. I love you so much. It's really great, dude. Thanks to Aaron and Kelly, obviously, and thanks to you guys coming. We look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very thankful. This is something that Rick has been working with me on, and Mitch. I've been agging him on, trying to get everybody on board, and God works. I mean, this is it's been a vision for Kelly and I have been talking about doing this for about five years, maybe more on doing something like this so you know when David said that God was working there I mentioned this to David one time and, and he was like yes absolutely I'm on board let's do this Rick as well and and Mitch as well and we've all just kind of it's all God's made this thing work because everybody's like-minded on it and that's why I think it's so important that we continue to do this thing because the word does talk about music and music does minister to people's hearts and lives and that's why it's important that we continue to do this so thank you guys all very much very much appreciated we love you and look forward to once a month last Sunday of the month we're gonna do this and then we're we're working towards a bigger meeting bigger venue so we'll fill you in more later sure love you guys thank you for participating online as well yes.